Here is 81 pieces of Bloons lore straight from the Ninja Kiwi blog. Corvus tells us that he wrote his spellbook himself after years of training and practicing the intricacies of spirit magic, but we're not completely sure that we trust him. Speaking of Corvus, many monkeys call his spellbook the Necroblonicum. We know mixing alchemist potions can be very dangerous, but that's exactly what gave us the slime cube. A bit of acidic mixture dip and berserker brew, a dash of unstable concoction, and just a splash of rubber to gold made this guy. Someone asked if the Ray of Doom's ray ever ends, and Ninja Kiwi said that they're pretty sure it bores a hole right through the end too. ETN is very big into fantasy books, with his favorite series being Game of Thrones. No one has discovered a sauce or spice that is too hot for Gwen to handle, though Geraldo is always on the lookout for new items. Because they're all powered by magic, all middle path wizards grow mustaches, not just the male ones. We only see one boss at a time because their egos are too big to allow more than one of them to show up at once. For Halloween, Quincy loves dressing up as famous archers while Izili goes as creepy as possible, and Adora loves going all out on amazing costumes. Sada gave Sushi Ben tons of lessons on proper chopping and slicing techniques back when he was first starting out and only had a small sushi kiosk. The Beast Handler gets their special clothing and beast food from Geraldo. Archie won first prize in a spaghetti bridge building competition when he was only 10 years old. Many have tried hunting the legendary Blue Rat, including Izili's Smudge Cat, but none have ever succeeded. Sato loves ice skating. What's better than walking around on mini blades? The Beast Handlers have been bugging Bookworm ETN with non-stop questions about his little dragons. They're in awe of them. Monkeys get tired. Luckily, they're allowed to take breaks whenever they need one. The BMA and Pirate Lord often discuss whether shrinking or sinking is the best way to take down ZOMGs. Gwen's hair is not naturally shaped like a flame. She fashions her hair using special fireproof hair care products from Geraldo's shop. There has been a fair bit of testing, hence the band-aids. The Bluntonium Reactor does not damage the environment or animals because the monkeys have developed super clean energy that is only harmful to balloons. Sai read Pat's mind back when they were first discovering their powers, but after seeing what was in there, they decided not to try again. The reason Highwayman Jericho is able to shoot his flintlock pistol so fast without reloading is because he asked the engineers to fashion a repeating flintlock. It was a hard task, and maybe just a bit of wizardly magic went into making these. Oban loves the Bloon Solver's dedication to keeping the environment clean and healthy as they clean up the debris after every game. Oban even shed a tear the first time he saw this in action. Some heroes have interesting tier lists. Pat has a top 10 list of snuggly blankets, while Stryker and Geraldo have a huge tier list of mustache grooming accessories. Geraldo is adamant that pickle juice is S tier. No one has ever seen a sniper projectile, but we suspect it's made from a mix of metals refined by alchemy to handle all sorts of balloons depending on the sniper's upgrade. Benjamin break dances in his free time. Many heroes and monkeys rely on Geraldo's shop to get what they need. Since he's come along, it's been much easier to get the essentials to the front line. Monkeys are very conscious about tidying up after themselves. They pick up as many darts as they can after each battle, and then the specially trained cleanup crew comes along to make sure everything is the same as before they even got there. Geraldo is good friends with everyone. Sometimes monkeys who visit his shop end up there for hours as they can't stop chatting. High finance is incomplete because every time those balloons attack, it sets back construction. Archie is not happy about it, but he understands that monkey safety is top priority. Izili says Smudge Cat has thousands of confirmed pops. When Adora gets complimented, she normally says thank you. I won't sacrifice you today. There are several urban legends in the monkeyverse. The most prominent one was the cave monkey until he was actually discovered. Monkey aces have accidentally dropped normal pineapples instead of exploding ones in the past. They compete in Sushi Ben's monthly cook-off, so it's understandable that they'd have normal pineapples on board. Sada has many students that study below her, but she has the perfect balance between her students, the front lines, and her R&R time. The monkeys are adamant about running a green, non-polluting, recyclable energy production pipeline. You could go for a swim in the local river right next to a manufacturing plant. Snipers come from all over the world with many accents, so there's bound to be one with an Australian accent like the sniper in TF2. Ninja Kiwi has been calling Corvus's spirit companion Spirity Bolly Boy or Slimer. Corvus enjoys a lovely jaunt among the spirits. That's why he spirit walks to new locations instead of normal walking. Monkey Office is a gigantic hub for the monkeys to reside in, but there are many cities, towns, and little hamlets all over the world. Speaking of Monkey Office, it's where most monkeys head out from, and it's said to be the start of the road. Why did the balloons help out in testing the new bouncing darts in the new dart just dropped quest? Well, we believe that the balloons would take any opportunity to swarm the monkeys under the guise of helping. Corvus and Azili are not related, but they do respect each other's beliefs and connections to the magics and spirits. The corn we remove from cornfield is shipped to various manufacturing plants to be turned into food and other helpful products. The reason some towers take longer than others to unlock a Paragon upgrade is because there's so much research that goes 
into testing and making sure the monkeys are safe. There are many different trials that take place before they figure out the optimal paragon. Striker Jones knows some magic, but his rocket launcher is much more effective at taking out the balloons. Obin and Corvus are not brothers, even though they look pretty similar. They do bicker like brothers, though. Pat Fussy's penguin is definitely up to something. You can't trust a pet in a slick tux and top hat. And the other pets are onto him too. Striker Jones is the best bowler of all the heroes, though he does use concussive shell on the pin. Monklish, the monkey's language, is a fascinating conflux of archaeology, evolutionary biology, and sociology, and it was vocalized before it became a symbolic system. Dirt, bark, and leafy materials were most likely early forms of this, but that's mostly projecting human language origins. We know that extraterrestrials are in the blue universe, so they were probably involved. Pat Fusty's New Year's resolution is to make each and every monkey he comes across feel appreciated and loved for all the hard work they do, mostly via hugs. Our magical friends have more spells than the ones we see in battle. Some creative ones include Bouncing Banana, Levitate Grape, and Animate Leaf. In order to get admitted into the Super Monkey or Plasma Monkey fan club, you have to answer a very specific question, and it's a doozy. Are you a fan of the Super Monkey and or Plasma Monkey? Admiral Burkle is the highest ranking monkey we know of in the monkey military. She is in charge of all naval-based recruits, and her mind for strategy goes towards a collective of heroes and specialists that decide how battles are fought. Corvus and his spirit are linked. One without the other would never be whole. The monkeys were happy to see new friends when the Dartling Gunner, Engineer, and Beast Handler joined them on the battlefield. They were also pretty impressed with the new tech and beasts they brought along. Quincy loves playing the Vuvuzela, even though he's terrible at it. And when other monkeys hear him playing, they shove banana peels in their ears so they don't have to hear it. Except for Sai, who runs to their drum kit to join in. Geraldo's killer bunny is not a paragon, though we've heard that he is related to the rabbit of Carabanoch. Specialty buildings are still happily doing their jobs in BTD5, Bloons Pop, and Bloons Monkey City. And Ninja Kiwi likes that combination of buildings, upgrades, features, and special gear. So here's to hoping we get something like that in BTD6 someday. Corvus loves books written by Edgar Ape Poe. Each hero has their home built to their specifications. For example, Pat has a blanket vending machine for any time he needs to add one to the pile. The reason fire-themed monkeys, like the Ring of Fire, still freeze on Glacial Trail is because it's too cold for them to use fire effectively. The blizzard makes it tough to start a fire. The Naver can hook bads but not bosses, because bosses are inherently tougher than bads, and the hooks can't hook into them. Superstorm Druids can see camos because they had to keep squinting through their super tornadoes, which trained their eyes to become stronger. The dungeon statue is the owner of Dark Castle. Nobody knows how long Highwaymen Jericho has been wanted for. Wanted posters just started popping up all around the corral. Some rumors even say that he planted them himself to strike fear into the balloons. Monkey aces are required to listen to danger zone when attending the top ace flight school program. The monkeys use their tails for all sorts of activities like holding extra darts, cups of coffee, or even snacks. Some balloons might have woken up with the cave monkey when he was freed from the ice, but neither Ninja Kiwi nor the monkeys wanted to disturb them and make it harder to defend. The Banana Central helps research facilities work faster by supplying them with banana crates. Who doesn't work faster with a crate full of bananas by their side? Geraldo has a vast network of shopkeepers that he regularly keeps in contact with, sharing hot tips on the latest cool items. The Monkeyverse has tons of hip-hop music. Quinn Z is pretty popular right now, but nothing beats Dr. Monk E. Sai meditates twice a day, a few hours at a time. They say it's important to meditate often to reach enlightenment and hone their psychic skills. Similar to Spotify, most heroes have Popify playlists that they share with each other, and I've heard that Gwen's is fire. Geraldo is the most likely hero to tease Churchill for loving anime slash manga, but he will still try to get Churchill the limited edition models because he's a good friend. Bosses take tons of damage, so they take a long time to recover. Because of this, they organized a rotation between themselves to make sure they're healthy for their next attack. When pets are not side by side with their owners, they're hanging out at the pet daycare playing all day. Brickle has not formally awarded the Nautic Siege Corps with a rank as of yet, but we believe that they'll retain the rank of sub commander. Gwen has chugged a couple of sodas before, but now the monkeys hide any sugary drinks because they're scared of Gwen getting too energetic. Quincy had never heard of the gritty before, but now he's practicing it furiously. I'm just hoping that it comes to battles too as a victory celebration. Some monkeys are born super, some achieve super monkey power through training, and some found a used cape in Geraldo's shop. Now they can all blast into the air with superpowers. All glue gunner suits are internally coated with a special powder that changes the sticky glue into a cleansing moisturizer. You can thank some crazy alchemists for that one. But that was 81 pieces of Bloons lore. If you want to watch a lot more, check out this video right here.